Hi, my name's Costas. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Magazine. I've still got the hiccups. Still got them. Still Actually, no, them. they went away and came back three days ago. I've still got them this time around. So you're going to have to bear with us. And also, during the live performances, you might see the camera jump a bit. <laughs> it's because I've been hiccuping. So that's it. But this is going to be a short one. It will be. I can't talk that much. <laughs> well, I can talk, but... It'll be intermediate like that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we've got an anagram this week. The anagram is... Actually, I'll let you talk. Okay. The anagram is made square. Now, it's an interesting one because it is a soon-to-be-released Magic Dow product. It is the title of a soon-to-be-released product. So, interesting to see if people actually get it right. Yes, um, I thought that would be... I think people will. Yeah. So, it will be um, interesting to see what... Mm. responses you get but it will be an upcoming magic Dow product indeed uh our once overs this week we are going over the new sans minds the foundation um an encyclopedia of sort of cards lights and beginning magic illusions um secondly we are going over magician anonymous's an unexpected triumph and um, because we're making it short today and we've got a lot of stuff to do on the board, we don't have a blast from the past for you today, but we will in the future. That's it. So let's get on with this week's show. Our first once over this week is Sans Minds The Foundation. Let's have a look at a short performance uh, we did earlier and have a talk about it afterwards. We're going to try something with a bit of an experiment more than a trick okay. this time. So, um, I've got a pack of cards. Mm -hmm. And what I would like you to do is pick any card you like. Any one you like. Now, bear in mind, it's a free choice. Yeah. But, you could have picked any other card. Yeah. Now, it doesn't matter if I see the card. Oh. I have seen the trick before. <laughs> uh, what I would like you to do is just sign the face of the card for me. the pen. Boop. There we are and uh, we'll just pop it in the middle somewhere just like that. Now the experiment goes something like this. Because it's your card and your card only, mm. it will only respond to you. Okay. Right. So if we give a couple cuts, if you snap your fingers, one card which isn't yours, jumps to the top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, if I've done a good enough shuffling job, that's not yours. That's no. the idea. But we can find yours. Yeah. If we just give it a couple seconds, it should look something <laughs> like yours. Now, here's what we're going to do. Um, what I'd like you to do is put your hand out, flat like a table. Yeah, brilliant. And we're going to take your card, and I'm going to need your other hand as well in a second. So the four goes there. Put your hand on top. Brilliant. And I'm going to use another card. I'm going to use four of spades. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And this is where the magic happens. If I just wave the four underneath, just like that, hopefully <laughs> I should get yours and you should get mine. Now you've just seen a quick performance of some of the stuff you can achieve whilst watching the foundation. Now the foundation isn't... Um, trick orientated it is if you haven't even picked up a pack of cards or you want some reminding on how to do some card slights and stuff like that um this is perfect for the beginner magician <laughs> let me say something i am so gutted i've got the hiccups and i can't talk as passionate about something as i would like because i think this product is fantastic not only fantastic i think it's it's one of the best releases so far this year yes um that uh even though the year is only 20 or days in <laughs> i would say it's even one of the best releases from the whole of locks here from the aspect of there's no gimmicks there is a lot of gold on this project. There's 
everything that you would like... Well, first of all, it goes through the beginning section is all about starting right from the beginning. Starting with mechanics grip, fiddle grip, all the way to slights, um, color changes, and then the final bit, the final end of the DVD, um, which is another good hour and a bit long, is routines put together with using all of the slight moves you have learned from the beginning half of the DVD. Um, it's brilliantly put together, it's very well explained, bit by bit by bit. Um, it's, uh, they, they do live performances of all of the um, routines and they show the performance and they go back and show bit by bit, pausing it, um, circling little bits of saying this is where this move happens, this is what they're doing that you've learned from the beginning and you can follow along dead easy. Um, I think this is going to go into a lot of people's repertoires, especially when they're starting out. We, um, we are so used to buying multiple effect DVDs that have various tricks on. We are so used to buying one trick DVDs with a gimmick or just with method. Some of the best standalone DVDs that were released in recent times, without doubt, is the Self Working Card Miracles by uh, Big Blind Media. Fantastic DVDs. Yes. Also, there are other series on uh, double thick cards or rough and smooth um, controls and all that kind of stuff. I highly recommend them to everyone. Without doubt, they've produced some of the best material available for magicians. This project is on a different level. I'm not saying it's better, it's just a different type of project. Yes. I like this so much, I'll be stuck in this and recommending it to everyone that walks through the doors Absolutely. because I know a lot of magicians that actually go out and do gigs but they can't do that much with an ordinary deck of cards. Yes. We know a lot of people, especially um, customers that come in here that want to start learning card magic. You find it difficult to really recommend them. So this is a guaranteed product. It is, absolutely. Even if you go out and do gigs, um, I still recommend commend this to you because just because you go out and perform doesn't mean you know everything and also I'm sure because I mean even me watching this I've got my close-up set done I've got my longest set done even watching this has given me a few new interesting little ideas that you'll take with you there's an interesting little idea that it's not like a big thing but there's an interesting way of doing um, a nerd maze or Houdini change. And it's just a nice way of doing it. You go, oh, that's a bit out of the ordinary. And it's nice to see some of base, see how powerful some of the basic stuff is, which a lot of magicians forget how powerful it is for lay people to see something simple, something simple and beautiful and, and, and in front of their eyes. I've been in magic for over 20 years. Um, before this was released and we saw the trailer when it was on pre-sale they had something on the trailer i saw and i said <laughs> i'm gonna watch that dvd in fact i'm gonna buy one and watch it <laughs> because there was something on there that i've never learned it's one of the things in magic that i love watching magicians do and I've never gone out of my way. In fact, I wasn't quite sure where to go and actually learn that. Even though I know how it, how it works, how it's performed, I still would like some kind of reference. Mm. And it's on this DVD. It is. It's on this DVD and I've been in magic for over 20 years and it's teaching me something. I'm not saying I know everything, but you know, when you've been in magic for a long time, you sort of know a lot of stuff. It doesn't mean you can do it all, but you know <laughs> it. And it has taught me something. In fact, 
I'm going to master it and perform it every time I've got a deck of cards. There you go. Because it's something I've always loved. I've, I see Chris do it all the time when he <laughs> does magic with the Northern deck of cards. I've seen loads of other people do it. And I've always liked the aesthetics of it, the, what the trick is. Mm -hmm. And it's on this DVD. It's on this. And, and it's Foundations. Yes. By Sounds Mike. It's fundamental that you get this. Get it? Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> All I can say is you will not regret buying this DVD. It's true. It will definitely be part of Okay, if you're a full-time professional, you um been in magic for a long time, you might not benefit from it. You might not, but sometimes it is nice to see some stuff with a fresh perspective. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, when I when I put it in, I saw that the first thing they started off with the me was the mechanic script. And I went, oh, so that's like where this starts. It really does start from the beginning. So for sort of seasoned people or slightly peppered people, can't, I couldn't do it, couldn't do the joke. Um, uh, my, do my hiccups are not allowing me to be enthusiastic <laughs> about these jokes today. <laughs> terrible jokes. Um, the be uh, for us, we're going to go all oh, the beginning, but obviously it's, it's, it's stuff that we know. But you, you sort of get into it, and the way they, they present it and do it step by step, you sort of get sucked in a little bit. And I go, oh, that's interesting. That is what I'm doing with my hands. And sometimes I go, I'm doing it wrong. And like I relearned the Erdnays. Um, not the Erdnays, the Elmsley Count not too long ago, because I've been doing it wrong for so many years. Well, I... Um occasionally um, do private tuitions yes. to uh, young kids that want to get into magic mm -hmm. or do magic and it's always difficult finding a reference point to actually give them yeah. without giving them a lot of stuff and say this that is and that from mm. these DVDs or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. whereas this perfect. gives you everything it gives you as the top twist called the foundations how to hold the pack of cards, shuffling, colour change, a palm and um, all that kind of stuff. Even goes through simple cuts and stuff like that, just to, uh, yeah, and, anyway. And then it gives you two solid routines of using everything you learned. Mm -hmm. And don't need to use everything in the same routine. It yep. just give you, it gives you the fun, the mentals. Um, so, it now wants to be a bit more confident with their card magic. Now, that's actually quite interesting what I've just said. Anyone that is interested in learning a bit more card magic, mm. if you're in that position, then you need this DVD. Truth. If you're Truth. in a position Truth. of saying that you think you are okay with what you know, and you don't need to learn anything else, then this isn't for you. Yeah. But I would say the majority of you, you do want to learn a bit more. You want to be a bit more confident. And if you are in that position, the Foundations DVD, you, this is a Sans Minds product and I'm raving about it so much. In fact, you don't understand how much I really like this project. You know, this is a Sans Minds project and they're so used to bringing out visual stunning, mm -hmm. one trick DVD, you know, and... uh, gimmicks that do fantastic stuff. And this is just a DVD on TV you the foundations of card magic mm. and it's it's one of their best ever releases it's great it's really well done please sans minds don't stop doing those gimmicks no no no, no. we're just but saying that the idea of this project is uh it is spot on it's definitely uh, really impressive definitely anyway that is the foundation by sans minds <laughs>
there, and you're going to pick a card. So um, actually, what I'd like you to do is just shout out the word stop for me. Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, so we'll use the five of spades for this, and what I'd like you to do is just pop your name on the five of spades for me. Brilliant. Cap the pen. Cool. Here's what we're going to do. Um, actually, that to the side, that to the side. And the five goes uh, roughly, it's not quite center, roughly center. Yeah. And we're going to take half of the pack face down, mm -hmm. half of the pack face up. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this is what he did. He showed me these two bits, he took the card, I signed it. He then shuffled face up into face down, which is a bit odd. But face up into face down. He uh, he cut the cards somewhere in the middle, and he showed there are face up and to face down cards. Yeah. Then he did something that I have never seen any magician do ever. He took the cards, he put them down, and he did nothing. Okay. He did absolutely nothing, and I thought. Okay, now he's messing with me. I'm a new person coming into the shop. He's, he's messing with me. He said, go on then. What do you mean, go on? He said, go on, pick up the deck. So I picked up the deck. He goes, spread them. So I took the cards and I started spreading. And I found out that every card was face up, except one card and one card only. If we take this out, hopefully, Hopefully, it should look something like yours. <laughs> then he said there's something even weirder than this. You couldn't have possibly picked any other card than this. And I said, why? And he said, well, because this card is blue. We are actually using a red pack of cards. <sighs> wow. That's <laughs> good. Now, you've just seen uh, an unexpected triumph by Magicians Anonymous. Um, I... See, I, I love is some parts of card magic that I love to collect. I love to collect ambitious cards. I love to collect color changes. I love to um, collect triumphs. And there's a lot of triumphs. It's always a good old triumph. I love triumphs. I do. Um, and this is an unexpected triumph. And um, in fact, on purpose, I didn't watch the trailer. Truth. I did not watch the explanation. No, nope, didn't watch me practice it either. I didn't touch any of the packaging. I didn't open it up. The first time I saw it was behind the camera. And as the top says, it was an unexpected triumph for me. I love triumphs. <laughs> this must be one of the best ones I've seen. I, I very much agree. I very much agree. Without doing... Now the thing is, you've sort of got two versions of triumphs, in a sense. You've got gimmicked versions of triumphs, and you've yeah. got card slides versions of triumph. This combines the both of them. There's a lot of sequencing in this routine. Let me say something before we continue. When you watch the performance, because you're filming it, and I didn't want to move camera or anything from Chris, from Chris. Mm -hmm. you might notice him doing something. Yeah. Uh, but in the real world, it wouldn't be noticed. No. So don't look at it and think, oh, look what Chris is doing, uh, whatever. Just ignore that because Rachel never saw it. You were in the real world. It just mm -hmm. happens that you're, gonna, you're going to see it because you're, you're burning my hands. Yeah. Um, and that e effectively, after the beginning, there isn't that much you need to do. No, once, once you've done the shuffle, that's it and you're done from then on. You've got one move to do. That's uh, it. And I... It's not really a move. The, the thing that got me <laughs> was the colour change at the end. It's great. That's fantastic. I heard a couple of reviews how they said um, it's a great product, highly recommended. So I wanted to actually judge it for myself. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's true, it's a fantastic product. You can't use a deck for anything else. Truth, it's really well done. It's really well done. Um, custom printed cards and all sorts yep. to help you. And 
just the the way it's the the the, the way the cards are done. I've never seen it in a triumph before. I've no, I've um, never seen that done in a triumph. And it helps it because you you show the cards to be mixed. You don't do anything, and then you show them to be all face up. Yes, and that's so clear. And I was expect something else to happen because at that point, in a normal and after you show the cards face up, face down, face up, face down. After that part in a normal triumph, you have to do a sneaky move. Yeah. Costas was looking for that sneaky move. I was there waiting for one because he, he was. He, I said to put it down, didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. So I was like, yep. "Well, where's the where's the sneaky on, thing? Why don't you continue with the trick?" In fact. He, that was part of the trick, um, and then he spread them, and then all the cards were wrapped. I'm thinking, how the hell does this work? <laughs> no idea. Boom. So uh, when I saw the method, he was I very thought, curious okay. after we did the shot. He was oh, like, "I gotta see this." I was very <laughs> curious. You know, you got some ideas in your mind, but <laughs> until you actually see the explanation um, to verify it, and actually, I was wrong. I was partly right. But also partly wrong. Partly wrong. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, I am very, very proud of Magicians Anonymous for coming out with this. Because after after Tremble, which was the other release that we had a lot. Actually, on, I like Tremble. I, I like oh Tremble. That's right. Um, I I really liked it. It was just that awkward thing of not being able to do it in in lighted yeah. situations, really high light. Um, so well, I was very curious to see what this was going to we be. We had the customer, I remember Tremble, we had the customer dr drive from Leicester and actually specifically oh, asked right, for yeah, it. Did. And I uh, got to actually, I'm not quite sure um, what to say about this, but uh, we made up a couple of gimmicks. Let me show you what it is. Yeah. Fit to him and he goes, yeah, oh, that's that. cool, I love yeah. that. That was great. And you think, well, really? We, we weren't actually sure. We liked the gimmick. Yeah, and we had fun playing with it. But he liked it. Um, and that's what it comes down to sometimes. So, you know, so far he's got a couple of products which um, are really, really good. Powerful stuff. Really good. And I think this, for me, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a card freak, um, I think this is, this is my favourite one so far. And I can't wait to see what else Magician Anonymous comes out with. No, I do like it. And so uh, it's a great product. Um, all the comments have been great. The only thing is, there is... Um, it is procedural. It's yes. Um, it, it's not. It's not as straightforward. It is straightforward, but you just have to remember a lot of things. And even during practice, there was a couple times when I went, "How did that happen?" And you have to retrace and really get it right, because there's there's stuff about deck orientation and stuff like that that you have to be careful of, and certain moves you have to do. But it's not complicated, you just have to get the sequence right in your head. I guess it pops down to, if you like this effect... You're going to put the time and effort into doing it, it right. Absolutely. And, and it's worth it. And it you spend worth. half an hour, an hour, two hours just going through it. You will eventually, it will become second nature to yeah. you. It just happens that, you know, we're not going to spend a long time no, trying to learn something for this show. Mm -hmm. Um, but I am, I'm taking this home with me, by the way, this is mine. First time I heard of it, but <laughs> I guess I haven't got, um... You can't say anything against uh, it now, because he's got the hiccups. By the time I say something negative, my hiccups door. start, so, you know, it's all, all positive that's coming out. <laughs> anyway, that is uh, an unexpected triumph. We're very, very happy with this. Um, and, uh, that's why I'm interested in Anonymous. Questions and answer this week. We weren't going to have one. However, I do have one now. And it's all related to me having hiccups. I was right. <laughs> it's all related to having hiccups. Apart from sending, you, sending us your hiccup remedies, <laughs> um, I've tried a lot of things so far. I've tried a lot of stuff. I've Some tried stuff. a lot of bizarre, weird suggestions. Um, but I won't say them here because <laughs> not polite in public. <laughs> some of them are a bit crazy. Um, the question is: You've got a gig tonight, <laughs> and you end up in this situation with constant hiccups, 
And they're not mild hiccups either. You know, I'm hiccuping and my whole chest is, is hiccuping. It's, Your pattern will be ruined. You, you know, I, I can't do anything maths related because when I'm hiccuping, my brain stops. Um, I can't really do anything procedure because my hiccups are interfering with the procedure. Uh, you don't realise until you've got hiccups for quite a few days how it does affect a lot everything. of things. It affects everything basically. But when you've got it for half an hour or an hour, it, they go away. And you forget about them until the next time you get yeah, them. Yeah, you don't realise that, you know, how it affects you. But when you've got it constantly and you can't sleep at night because you're hiccuping and, every, you know, your whole body's rattling because of this crazy hiccups. So I've got a gig tonight. Well, you've got a gig tonight. What do you do? What do you do? You know, okay, you don't want to say no to the gig. Do you do a mime act? What do you do? <laughs> It'll be interesting, you know what? How do you incorporate that into act? Or how do you get rid of them? What are your surefire ways of getting rid of hiccups? Have you been in a situation? It doesn't actually really need to... It, it can be um, heavy sneezing. You know, anything that might affect your performance. So... What was the situation that you were in? <laughs> what was it you had? What did you do? You yes. know, it's just it's we're crazy stories like that. Let us know. We are luckily Cust I don't have a gig until two thousand nineteen. But he does. <laughs> but he does need help. Call the call the number on the bottom of your screen to help cast this as hiccup. We just want to hear your stories. Yes, you know, we do. We we want to laugh about the things that you've experienced rather than laughing at myself. It's true. It's my job. So that's, anyway. uh, that's the questions that answer. Apologies for my hiccups. Yeah. I know it's not the nicest thing to hear, but we are masochists here. We don't want to miss a, a week. Never. Um, and segue, this week we went over Sands Minds the Foundation, which is a great... Um, Yes, it's just fantastic. It is fantastic. Um, and uh, Magician Anonymous and Unexpected Triumph, which is also fantastic. Um, very unexpected. Do not forget, our anagram for this week is an upcoming Magic Dow release. So let's see what people make out of that. Made Square. We also finished uh, filming the trailer for our next release that's currently being edited. Um, after playing around with it even more yesterday, I'm so excited for this to come out. Yes, we've come up with um, some new ideas. It will be a nice uh, Blackpool thing, um, but it should be out um, shortly. Yes, indeed. Um, and it's by um, an artist that is creating a very strong name for himself lately. Yes, indeed he is. He's got some fantastic things coming out with... Uh, Various other people, and um, this is one that we've had. People. Yeah, this is what we had for ages, and um, it's time it's uh, it's come out. It's the light of day. So um, mm -hmm. uh, then, fun enough, I've already started making the gimmicks for the release after that. Oh, good! Oh, fantastic! Which is that called, means I've got work to do. Uh, yeah, you've got some stuff to do. Some stuff to do. Um, which is called mutate. 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 Mm. Then we've got Painter after that. We do. Um, and then we've got um, a lot of other stuff. A lot of other stuff. So um, it's all about trying to bring... Notice the grindstone, get some work done. Yeah, and, al and also, it's... Uh, it's uh, I'm finding it difficult to talk now. I know, I know, I'm trying. It's um, trying to change the way what products we bring out as well mm. there's some products that we oh, discarded we've um we had to get rid of um but sometimes it's um yeah i mean that that doesn't come from that they were horrible we just want to keep the quality and whatnot the same for you guys in what? fact there's nine products we've got that we're now turning into instant downloads because um yeah yeah, that way we can keep the price down, at, and and that's it. So yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll, we'll see how um, 
they come across. Cool. And until next week, bye. Enlightened showcases a stunning effect from the uniquely talented mind of Ravi Mayer. The spectator selects a card. The performer tears off the card's corner, withdraws a lighter and instructs the spectator to burn the card's corner, which vanishes in a spectacular flash of fire. The spectator is then instructed to examine the lighter and, to their delight and surprise, they find the card's corner trapped inside the lighter itself. So we ripped the corner off my card and then suddenly it was in here. How fabulous. That's amazing. Enlighten has a wide variety of routines that have been tried and tested in the real world. Routines that are being performed worldwide by professional magicians every day. So why not be one of them? We're going to try an experiment with destruction, right? Um, we need two things. First of all, we need a pack of playing cards. Secondly, if you will hold on to those, perfect. Secondly, we need a card chosen. So, um, you know what? Whenever you like, just say the word start for me. Right there, down the bottom. Yep. Yeah, that's alright. We're not going to use the whole card, we're just going to use some of the card. Alright, so have a look at it. Remember it, don't forget it. In fact, will you hold on to the pack for me? Brilliant. And we are just going to use the corner of the card. Hold on to that. Brilliant. And we need something else. Part of the destruction. We need a lighter. Right. So you, um, will you actually light the lighter for me? Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Just light it. Brilliant. Go for it. What was it? The Ace, Ace, of, Ace Diamond. of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Um, actually, you've been holding that lighter. You just open your hand. Yeah. Open it. And hopefully that should match Ace of Diamonds. Have a look. Yeah, definitely does. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You guys That's were wonderful. absolutely brilliant. That is awesome. Thank you so much. No. Um, no. I think, I think, is that the Queen of Clubs? What the f If you have a look at that, should be the same. <laughs>